are extremely difficult to see sometimes on forward-facing sonar, but this is where we can use our side imaging, our down imaging that you guys are familiar with already. Find the fish in the area, and then you can have some crazy things happen. Go ahead and play the video on the next clip, Riz. So six cents draw, nine inch glide bait. You can see a couple of them snake in the bottom there. Hits the water up there. And this is, uh, might be a good time to think about what we're gonna see later, where we talk about the draw power of some of the big baits. But you're about to see what's actually down there in just a second once these fish know that the bait is in their presence in the water column. One of them is about to get triggered right there. He sees it. And game over, Mr. Draw swim bait. Here comes the school. Once again, watch, watch my bait right there. You can't see it. I twitched it as soon as that fish got almost to it. And we got a dang frenzy of fish coming out of the woodworks that are dotted up on the bottom that we never probably, I feel like this is something that I, I kind of have to myself a little bit but maybe you know, once I'm in the Elite Series now, it's probably something a lot of guys know, is being able to effectively target and catch these fish that are on the bottom. Everyone can catch them up in the water column, but the fish on the bottom are the ones that are, are the deal, generally. Go ahead, Riz. So, two most effective methods on targeting those fish that are on the bottom of the lake. You guys just saw one of them right there. Pull them off the bottom, quite simply, right? Works best when there's better water visibility. That's when I'm trying to pull them up. I'm not gonna go out when it's chocolate mud and I'm fishing five feet of water, 20 feet of water, and try to throw a, a, a glide bait three feet below the surface. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna know it's there hardly. They're not going to come up and react to it. And something that I've just learned from fishing these heavily stained bodies of water, they might know it's there, they might feel it, but they're not gonna make the entire jump to get up there and commit to the bait. They might come a couple feet off the bottom, but they're not gonna do it. So when there's good visibility, I'm throwing the big glide bait, I'm throwing the jerk bait, mid strolling, natural presentations where I want those fish to see that natural bait, keep it over the top of their head, and let them come up and react. So when they're eating baits, on the fall, and they're on the bottom, again, if you looked through the winning techniques the last two years, Elite Series, Bass Pro Tour, Bass Master Opens, Invitationals, it's hard to find any tournament, any species of bass that doesn't have a drop shot. Drop shot is one of the most effective ways to target these smart fish, whether they, uh, whether, you know, they're, they're extremely pressured, whether the water's super clean, whether the water has zero visibility, you can catch fish on a little pink worm on a drop shot and four inches of visibility about anywhere you want to. So that's my number one recommendation to pick up when they're eating it on the fall, they want a bait presented on the bottom is that. The free rig, how many of you guys fish a free rig or know what a free rig is? It's very simple. Um, I think we overthink it, we see it's a Japanese technique, and so we start thinking about these crazy baits, we have to start using them, and we gotta go out and IkebonTackle.com and spend $7,000 on sneaky crawdad looking baits, when in reality, a free rig is just simply a, a, a Texas rig with more freedom of movement. It's a, your basic barrel, your basic bell-shaped weight on the bottom for the most part, and a loop on the top, an open loop like a drop shot weight, and it has the freedom to slide. Now it is gonna slide down your line and create a more vertical, perfectly straight down presentation. It's gonna hit the, because it has the propensity to slide up your line more so than a Texas rig bullet weight, it's gonna fall and hit the bottom sooner. So there is a little bit of that effect. I thought that was the deal at first, but in reality with the free rig, it's just giving more freedom of movement. Again, doing something different. It's almost like a swing head down there as opposed to a jig. It's less of a surface area touching your line than a bullet weight has touching so much more and giving your bait less action. The free rig allows for every time you hit the bottom, every time you run into cover, every time you drag it, it's gonna have more wag and for whatever reason they just eat it guys. Whether it be a worm, a beaver, craw, don't overthink it, don't go buy crazy baits, throw the baits you Texas rig on the free rig, you're gonna have a hard time not catching them. Now I say that with also saying, look at Tyler Williams this year in the opens. 
Kyle Patrick, guys throwing a traditional jig. Trey McKinney, you know, 18 year olds that shouldn't know how to do this stuff, just go out and throw a jig in front of fish and they eat it. I'm not gonna tell you that they're not gonna eat a jig. Um, jig's a very effective way to catch those fish on the bottom.